According to the analysis of the U.S. Department of Energy, every time the price of international oil doubles, the total GDP of the United States will drop by 2.5%. If the price of oil rises to 10 U.S. dollars per barrel, the economic loss of the United States will reach 50 billion U.S. dollars. It is not difficult to see that in this era when the traditional fossil fuels reserve is getting less and less, the economies of many countries are directly linked to the price of oil. The more developed the country, the greater its dependence on oil. Under such circumstances, in order to ensure that they will not be affected by oil fluctuations and directly collapse, all countries have established oil reserve systems. In today's video, let's take a look at the oil reserves of the world's major powers. OK, let's get started. From the analysis of the U.S. Department of Energy, we can see that the economic development of the U.S. is affected and restricted by the oil supply. The oil reserves in the United States mainly include two types, one is the National Strategic Reserve, and the other is the Corporate Commercial Reserve. The former is owned by the state and made by the government to ensure a stable supply of oil. The latter belongs to the enterprise and is operated independently. The purpose is to ensure the production and profitability of the enterprise. What we are going to talk about next is mainly about the national strategic reserves. After all, the government has no right to interfere with the oil reserves of enterprises' commercial reserves. The inventory of the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve, SPR, is quite large, and the U.S. government authorizes the Department of Energy to directly manage it. The U.S. National Strategic Reserve System began in the 1920s and was formally established in the 1970s. In 1923, they established the Alaska National Petroleum Reserve Base to provide fuel reserves for the U.S. Navy. In 1975, in response to the oil crisis caused by the war in the Middle East, the then U.S. President Ford signed the Energy Policy and Reserve Act in December, officially approving the construction of the U.S. National Strategic Reserve System. After that, the United States successively built five underground cavern-style strategic oil reserve bases, forming three systems integrating storage, transit, and transportation. According to statistics disclosed by the International Energy Agency in May 2011, the U.S. strategic oil reserves at that time reached 727 million barrels, equivalent to about 99.18 million tons, which can meet the oil consumption of the United States for 34 days, 21 million barrels per day. This number is undoubtedly quite astonishing, because it means that after the United States completely loses its source of oil, it can still rely on the oil in its reserves for more than a month. In addition, the location of its oil reserve base is relatively safe, in a salt cavern hundreds of meters deep underground, which allows it to perfectly cope with high-intensity strikes. Because the United States made a fortune relatively early, it realized the importance of oil, and it took a long time to build oil reserves, so its reserves can reach this amazing scale. So, how much oil reserves does Japan, which has a small land area, have? First of all, we need to make it clear that both Japan and the United States are the first members of the International Energy Agency, an intergovernmental organization designed to deal with future energy crises. The data shows that the International Energy Agency plays an important role in promoting international energy dialogue, ensuring energy security, and avoiding energy supply crises. The IEA requires its member states to maintain oil reserves not lower than their 90-day average net oil imports. Secondly, the development of Japan's oil reserves can be divided into five stages. The preparation stage is from 1955 to 1970, the initial stage is from 1971 to 1977, and the expansion stage is from 1978 to 1989. From 1990 to 1998, it was the consolidation stage. After entering the 20th century, Japan's oil reserves officially entered the stage of perfection. After so many years of development, Japan's oil reserves have reached a large scale, even exceeding standard requirements. 
According to the data, if Japan's national reserves, private reserves and common reserves of oil-producing countries are added together, it can be concluded that Japan's oil reserves are about 80 million tons, which is equivalent to 218 times the number of storage days required by the standard. It has exceeded its reserve target, and the security of oil supply is extremely strong. In addition, compared with the concentration of oil reserve bases in the United States, Japan's base layout is scattered and balanced, and the storage methods are more diversified. At present, the storage methods of Japan's National Oil Reserve Base mainly include the following four types, namely, underground oil tank equipment, above-ground oil tank equipment, water-sealed underground rock plate oil tank equipment and offshore oil tank equipment. The advantages and disadvantages of these storage methods are different, and Japan will choose the best according to local environmental conditions. After reading the oil reserves of the United States and Japan, Let's take a look at China, which started relatively late. How did it deploy and plan in this regard, and what level has China's reserves reached? China has developed very rapidly in recent years, so its oil import and export has always been the focus of the world's attention. According to the data monitored by the global commodity data provider, they believe that China's strategic oil reserves have already reached 926.1 million barrels. This is an increase from the estimated 869 million barrels in March of the same year, and if the conversion is based on the extreme value of 926.1 million barrels, China's oil reserves have exceeded 100 million tons. It is not difficult to see that if this estimate is true, then China's oil reserves are indeed currently in the leading position in the world. However, according to the relevant data released in 2020, China's oil storage capacity has only reached 85 million tons, which is still quite different from later estimates. Therefore, China's oil reserves are regarded as a mystery internationally. And it should be noted that China's oil consumption is also relatively high. For example, in 2021, the daily consumption will reach about 13 million barrels. In this case, such a scale of oil reserves is only enough to support about one and a half months. In general, China's strategic oil reserves were built in the 1990s, much later than the United States and Japan. Under such circumstances, it is very hard to build nine national oil reserve bases by 2020. So, what is the point of oil reserves? Today's international situation is very unstable, and the supply, demand and price of oil have also been significantly affected. In this case, the size of oil reserves is the key to avoid falling into a crisis of economic loss or no oil available. Take the United States as an example. They have used oil reserves to survive many crises. Whether it was the Asian financial crisis in 1998 or Hurricane Katrina that hit suddenly in 2005, the United States has used strategic oil reserves in these crises. It survived safely and the economic loss was controlled within a certain range. Of course, sufficient oil reserves can also ensure a stable supply of oil, so that the economy will not stagnate and the national economy is in normal operation. Therefore, in the future, more countries will improve their oil reserves and promote the construction of more oil bases. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.